Salutations to the Pokemon trainers, and welcome back to my Pokemon TCG opening. In this video, as you can tell by the thumbnail, we'll be opening up the Mystical Collection Darkrai box. So, this box, I've gotten every box so far, including the Charizard, and later this month comes out the Blastoise, which I have to get, because Blastoise is my favorite Gen 1 starter. Not my favorite starter overall, of course, Cyndaquil, hence the name, but it's still, Blastoise is cool, it's still a cool Pokemon. I used it during when I first played X. And I greatly enjoyed him as a Pokemon. Um, so, yeah. We got the Darkrai box here. Just picked it up today. It's a, I know these boxes have been out for 10 days now. But this is the first time I found one and actually picked it up. So, yeah. We're just going to rock out. We're just going to rock out. I'm going to see if I can open this without ruining the box. Cause I'm, I'm keeping these boxes. Because I like these boxes. I don't know... Was make these boxes different than other boxes. Maybe it's just like the 20th anniversary stuff about it. But I'm going to try to keep this box as nice as possible. Which they seem to to love making it difficult to open these. My knife is not doing anything to this. Okay, so you're just, uh, you're making it hard on me. I'm just trying to make some good quality content on the YouTube. And you're making it hard on me. White Pokemon. Anyways, so yesterday, which is May tenth, um, we got our first look at uh, the Sun and Moon starters and legendaries. I definitely, definitely love the Pokemon Sun, uh, legendary over. I I prefer over the Moon one, but I'm still hashtag Team Moon because. I like the moon more than I like the sun. I don't know. And my starter or choice is the cute little Litten. Because I love cats. Cats are great. Cats are great, great. And I like fire. And fire cats are great. So, first things first, out of this box, I'm going to grab the card. Here's the TCGO code for you. I'm pretty sure it's just for, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's just for this dark red card. So, here's the card. And I freaking love this art. It's so creepy, but so great. It is freaking awesome. Darkrai is such a cool Pokemon, too. It was my first event Pokemon I ever got. I went to Toys R Us back in whatever year. I think it, it had to be like 2007, 2008. And they had the event Darkrai that had Roar of Time and Spatial Rend. And oh, I still have that Pokemon. I love it. Darkrai is so cool. I think this might be my favorite art out of all the Mythical Collection cards. I have the rest of the cards right here. Like, there's Mew, uh, Celebi, Charizard, and Jirachi. I really like this art. I don't know. Something about this dark red just catching my eye. Hashtag rhymes. Um, I don't know. It's so cool. Dark red is so creepy, but so awesome. And the dark red movie is one of... I think is one of my favorite Pokemon movies. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, next up, we got the pin. As you see behind me, got all the pins on this lanyard that I got from the Marvel Collector Corps box for... April, you can find that on my channel, hashtag plug, um, yeah, just look at this pin, this pin is so cool, Darkrai is so cool, how many times can I say it, Darkrai is so cool, just look at him, it's, these are, like, these are really nice pins, I like how on the back, they got, they're, like, imprinted with the Pokeballs, but yeah, it's, Darkrai is so cool, I haven't gotten, so, I'm really bad at transitioning, I've learned that, but, I haven't gotten many uh, great pulls out of these uh, Banishments packs. It doesn't help that I only get one of each box and only, um, there's only, um, I say um too much here. I know it's that. I like pointing out my flaws in my videos. I'm human. Um, I've only, ah, I've done it again. My best pull is this. The Vaporeon EX. I keep my cards in this container. I don't know why. I just do. But, yeah. Let's hope. For some full arts, some EX, something. In this box, we have the Charizard pack and the Blastoise pack. I'm going to leave the Blastoise pack for a second. Because I'm feeling luck with that Blastoise. But Charizard, we will just get this open. I would love to keep the packs um, in decent condition. But that never happens for me. I'm just not that kind of lucky. So, I'm sorry there's no TCGO codes in these boxes. They're just not included. So yeah, three from back to the front, as always. And to start off, we got some cute little snow runs with a little snow Pikachu. That's adorable. I love snow runs. Snow runs are adorable. Snow runs are great Pokemon. 
And we got energy switch and we re revitalizer. Um we got Magmar and Trio 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 Diglett. We got fighting energy, which I like the way the energy is looking in this. I I like that they have hollows er, hollow energies in this, but I would rather my hollow be something better. Cause I don't use energy cards. I don't play the game. I just like the arts. Um, we got Doe Duo. We got a Reverse Hollow Diglett, and oh fuck! This I just oh, I, I felt the luck with the Blastoise, but the luck was really in the Charizard. We got ourselves a freaking full art Gardevoir. This is fucking beautiful. I love Gardevoir. Gardevoir is one of my is one of my favorite. I'll say shiny megas. I'll put it like that. I love Gardevoir's shiny mega, which I, secret. There's a secret rare Gardevoir EX in this box. It has the shiny or a secret rare mega Gardevoir EX, and it has the shiny mega Gardevoir on it. And it's so glorious, but this is also cool. Look at that little Ralts. Why is he upside down? I don't know, but he is. And this is great. Oh my god, so shiny. <laughs> this card is really cool. I really like this. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it right here, and we also end this pack with a hollow, cool shit. Nice hollow ride here. No circle circuit and thunderbolt. What is this Gardevoir now? Life leap and a shining wind. That is nice. I'm gonna put that with those. Oh, one thing. I guess I did get a decent pull. I don't know how rare this card is in the set, but let me just find it real quick. I keep it with my uh other full arts. From there, I just like the uh, box cards, but uh, let me find it real quick. I should have pulled it out. It's just um, full art Pikachu, which I guess this is a, it's still a really nice pull. Because it's it looks really nice. It fits really well in with the rest of the uh, Pokemon 20 cards. So, yeah. Um, now, can we get another full art? Another EX? Another something within this Blastoise pack? Please. I told you I felt lucky with you. Please don't let me down. You are where my luck lies. I promise you that. Can we get the team Gardevoir or the Mega Gardevoir secret rare? Please. Please, I beg. So, three from back to the front as per the usual. Starting this off with a Swell Blue and a Pokeball and a Persian. Another Diglett. Oh, third Diglett. Did we get three Diglett out of two packs? Wow. Got ourselves a Paris. A cute little Pikachu. A fairy energy to match our Gardevoir. Um, we got ourselves oh, oh classic art. I'm such a sucker for the classic arts. I've been collecting Pokemon cards since I was a little kid. And the classic arts just throw me the fuck back. Our first hollow is this awesome Taurus or Tauros or however you want to pronounce it. Freaking great. And next up Oh that's pretty. Pretty Drachi. I love Drachi is my favorite mythical Pokemon. Next to Dark Rai, maybe in front of Dark Rai, I don't know. It's hard to choose. It's just so great. But just look at this awesome Jirachi. A little heart in the sky. I love the Radiant Collection. The Radiant Collection is such a cool collection. I love the hollow pattern on the bottom of the card, too. That just looks cool. So, last pack. Last card of the pack. Last card. Ooh. I told you I was feeling lucky with that last toy. And we got ourselves a Leafeon EX to match this goddamn Vaporeon. Looks this card looks great. This card it does it looks great. It's just great. Leafeon isn't my favorite evolution, but I don't hate any of them. So it's still a nice, a really nice pull. This is definitely my best box so far. I can promise you that. So yeah. Man, let's just look at this Garvar real quick. Let's just look at both of them. Let's just highlight both our pulls. You know, let's put the Garvar in front though. Scarvars are to that front and glory. Just look at them. The glare is kind of bad. I'm sorry. But it actually just ho highlights its hollowness. Yeah. I'm just going to play it off like that. Looks really nice. The Generations cards are some of my favorite cards. I've noticed. I've seen every card in the series. Though I don't remember exactly what all of them look like. Because I haven't looked at them like recently. But they have some really great cards. And... I just, I feel the luck. I feel very, I feel very nice. I feel very nice in this box. There was like 10 boxes at Myers. I just grabbed the one that was right up front. I'm glad I did. If I grabbed any other one, 
who knows what I've gotten. I don't know if I how far I would have gotten these cards. And yeah, I feel I feel good about my choice. So before I can ramble on for another twenty years about Pokemon till it comes Pokemon's fortieth anniversary, I'd like to thank y'all for watching. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. Comment down below. What's your favorite card from the Pokemon Generations um set? And with that, I'll see y'all next time.